Hi, I'm Shirley Reese Hughes, curator of painting, sculpture, and works on paper at the Carter, and curator of Leonardo Drew, number 235T. Leonardo Drew is the fourth contemporary artist to work in this space. It's a gallery that connects the original 1961 museum building to the 2001 expansion. And the curatorial team really wanted this to feel more like an interactive space. And with Drew's work, it adds a new layer because it's all sculpture, something we haven't done before. So there's really a vibrant tactility to it. Um, it pulsates with rhythm, and I think it's something entirely new our visitors can engage in. Leonardo Drew number 235T is an immersive installation. It's looming in scale and stunning in its intricacies. Drew prefers to number all of his works instead of titling them because he wants viewers to freely interpret it. This installation is unique because Drew had never done an installation where two gallery walls actually speak to themselves. He really had to think about the balance of the objects which fall into a sort of loose grid, but there's a rhythmic pulse to the objects that literally take you through, want to move you through the space, and at the same time draw you in for closer contemplation. Leonardo Drew is an abstractionist. He actually trained as a painter, but wanted the challenge of working in three dimensions, and he works with accumulations of raw materials. So you'll predominantly see materials like cotton, wood and metal, but you also see everyday things like yarn. One of the objects in the show, Drew took yarn and coiled it into spirals. He was sitting on the floor as he did it, so he thought of it as a very meditative exercise. But you'll also see things that almost look hidden, like newspaper that he's affixed to wood, or cartoons, or sand that he's embedded in paint to create color, a textural color. Leonardo Drew is one of the most important artists working today, and he's worked internationally doing installations. And I wanted to see how he would transform the space. And it's really mesmerizing to think about how much time it took for each of these sculptures that he hand built. And then he brought them all together, not really knowing what he was going to do in the space and working intuitively. And so I think it's encouraging to viewers of art to think about that spontaneity, about that intuitive, innate, artistic sensibility. I just felt he was such an important artist to bring into the Carter and reinvigorate the space in a new way.